Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with more Star Wars Rogue One 3.75 five point articulation action figures. I did it. All right, let's take a look. Uh, I don't know which one I should do, actually. I've got quite a few choices. You know what? Okay, I know someone's been asking me. You've been asking for the Death Trooper, so I'm going to do you one, but I'm not going to open this Death Trooper, but I will open a Death Trooper. I have right here a twin pack. This is a twin pack. This comes with Rebel Commando Pow and the Imperial Death Trooper. This one is like a variant Death Trooper. He's a, uh, I don't know, actually, what is the difference? There is a difference. We'll find out soon, if not this video, but the next video. But there is a difference between this Death Trooper and the one that came in uh, Wave 3 from these figures. So let's let's do this. Let's get into it. Let's take a look at the box. Okay, here is our box. We have our beautiful Rogue One artwork with our Death Trooper right over there. Here we go. Painting of Pow. I like the action. I love seeing like his little teeth and him screaming and his eyes squinting. He looks really cool. Get our Versus symbol. Then we have our Death Trooper. Rebel Commando Pow. Imperial Death Trooper. Nothing special about the name. Just says Death Trooper. Uh, some assembly required. Disney Hasbro. Warning. Don't choke on the stuff. This time around, the Death Trooper gets the big gun. Previously, the big gun came with Bays, And then there was also a... Uh, I forget what the other one, the big gun came with more off over there, but this time looks like Pow gets some accessories like the backpack and stuff, but the big gun goes with the death trooper, which is going to be interesting. So let's just take a look real quick before I open them. There's Pow, his mouth is open, and there's our death trooper. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Let's read the blurbs. How about that? Uh, Rebel Commando Pow, see, an amphibious Drabata. I don't know what a Drabata is. The fierce Commando Pow charges into battle with a full-throated battle cry of Sakala! He joins the Rogue One team on its historic mission to secure Death Star plans. You guys like those voices when I do those voices. I was thinking about doing a whole video just on my impressions of Rogue One characters. If that's something you want to see, let me know down in the comments below. Alright, over to the Imperial Death Trooper blurb. The elite soldiers of Imperial Intelligence Death Troopers are encased in specialized Stormtrooper armor with a dark, ominous gleam. And that's all it says. It doesn't give you a whole bunch about the Death Trooper, but there's a shot of his dual projectile launcher. Now that is interesting that he comes with a dual projectile launcher because so far in these double packs, the versus packs, we'll call them that, they all have double launching, whatever you want to call them, Butcher Macaulay's, a uh, double projectile launcher. So Bayes had it, Morov has it, and now the Death Trooper has it. Now with Bayes, it at least fit what he had in the movie, it looked right. Uh, Morov, it looks right. This time around for the Death Trooper, I, I don't think it looks right. I think it's kind of off, but it is what it is. Let's get them open and let's see, let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, I do see some stuff I'm gonna have to snip open with my Exacto. Now, guys, as I do this, you know, like I always say, there is a link. Ooh, lost my Exacto. There is a link in the description box below and also a pinned comment. Hopefully, if I get around to doing it, uh, with an Amazon link in case you are an Amazon shopper. I go through and I try and find these items on Amazon. So if you want to buy them yourself, you can. And I broke my exacto. Oh, no, I fixed it. Uh, but if you are an Amazon shopper, you can go ahead and find these things. They are there. Good. And if you buy anything, not just these toys, but anything on Amazon, you start off by clicking my links. I get a couple pennies on the dollar for everything that gets sold. So it goes to help out the channel. Helps me get new stuff so we can have new content. Basically everything I make from the ads on my YouTube channel, as well as any Amazon links or t-shirt sales, if you guys go to Spreadshirt and check out the shirts that I've made, uh, any of that I pour right back into the channel, which lets me buy stuff like this, toys like this, so that we can continue to have cool vids. So whenever you guys buy from Amazon, if you click my links, it definitely helps. Helps the channel keep going strong, and it's much appreciated. All right, I did it. I did it. I got all the stuff out. Okay, there is some paper. There's some... Oh, 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 oh. Almost lost it. Here we go. Here we go. Well, instructiones, like I like to call them. Um, very cool. Very simple. Let's let's take a let's take a close up look at what we got going on here. Okay, so these are the instructions. It tells you how to assemble the guns. There's everyone just kind of hanging out. Uh, but it tells you how the guns sit on the Death Trooper, how to load the bullets, and how to fire. 
And then there's this thing. It's the uh, Studio FX app. There you go. A nice, clean, clear shot of that barcode. So scan that into your Hasbro Studio FX app, and that should get you a couple uh, points and maybe an exclusive looking effect. So that should be pretty neat. Okay, guys, real quick before I set them up, I do want to show you the mechanism that makes it happen. So this goes around the shoulders. This little piece up here goes right around the shoulders. These are little arm things for them to hang on to. In the back, you have the two buttons, right? And the buttons, it's kind of difficult to do this, but maybe you can see it. The buttons, when I push the right button, it moves that little thing. When I push the left button, it moves this little left one. And what that does is that triggers this part right here. So that's how you get these large guns to work. It was a very similar thing on Morof's guns when you click those together, that there is a little mechanism from here that makes this button trigger these projectiles. So if it's not lined in and pushed in correctly, it won't work. Okay, so here's a close-up shot of both of them. There you go. There's Pow. Pow looks really good. I like all the detail on him. Looks great. Look at that backpack. You can see all the wrinkles in the backpack. There's some metal things kind of sticking to it. Cool antenna. I like the little shoulder pads. Have that texture like they did in the movie. The sculpt on this guy is phenomenal. Look at those wrinkles right there by his elbow. That is nuts. And the little arm dart things. I don't know what those are. But let's lift his arm. Let's take a look at the little... Look at that. He's got these little, like, I, don't, I think they're explosives or something. And his little pouch there. That looks really good. Uh, this is a great figure. This is a really good figure. So they are five points of articulation, which is pretty standard for this line. But look, even that texture in the back of his legs right there is perfect. Boots look really good. These are great, great figures. Now, it is five points, like I said, but check this out. His mouth opens and moves, so you can do his yell, like it said on the blurb on the box, or you can have his mouth more closed, or you can really pop that mouth open. There you can kind of see inside. Pretty neat. I like that. I like that he's yelling. So that is an awesome figure. Pow looks really, really good. Ah, I love it. So, okay, let's take a look at the Stormtrooper. Of course, with all this armor and stuff and these crazy cannons, it's not very easy for them to stand up. And I can lean it back a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of like resting on his shoulders a little differently. And that helps. But again, this the guns and stuff, I get it. They have to like include something cool for kids. But I think it's not necessary. So normally I try to shoot you guys over there. But since I don't think that's possible, I'm going to... This is like Harikari. Let's see if I can do this myself. Did it. I did it. I nailed it. Got it. So that's what it looks like. A close getting shot by one of these cannons. I'm going to take this thing off him though because I don't like it. And honestly when I just play him, I'm never going to kind of... I'm never going to have it. I'm never going to use it. So I do want to take a look at this Death Trooper. So the neck moves like so. There's a little silver on his little thing there. That's kind of cool. And let's kind of stand him up and see what he looks like. I like the details. He looks good. See, look, see the ribs right there? Or the little underneath his ribs? Did those like lines. That's how the other figures look. So that's cool. You can see his kind of undersuit has all those lines to it. That's good. That's included in the sculpt. There it is. Solid. That is a solid figure. Notice the kneecaps. One kneecap has this weird little thing up here. The other one does not. Same with the other figures. But these are not the same legs as the other figures. It's just the style of Rogue One. Overall, though, pretty cool looking figure. I don't know that I like this whole antenna thing being silver. That kind of throws it off a little bit. I thought it was mostly black. Actually, for comparison, let's take a look at this next to a black series figure. Okay, so here we have my 6-inch Black Series figure. This is like the most detailed, I guess other than the Disney Elite figures, but this is like the most detailed you can get um, figure. And notice that thing on top of his head is not silver. He's a little dusty because he's been sitting in my, over by my computer for quite a while now. But, I mean, he's a pretty good-looking figure, the small 3 and 3 quarter inch version. You got the straps, the same like buckles and straps on the shoulders that he's got over here. It looks pretty good. Just the only thing that bugs me is that silver on his helmet. And I just don't know why they chose to do that. Why? Why would you choose to do that? But here are just some more close-up shots of him. You can kind of see all the detail on there. And he looks really good. Another solid figure. Again, Hasbro, you guys killed it in this line. You guys are doing really, really good. So that just makes me excited to see what you're going to do with the... Uh, 
the last Jedi figures that'll come out this September. That's going to be really cool to see what you do with that. Because like I've said before, the Force Awakens figures were a little lackluster in my personal opinion. So it'll be, um, I have high hopes. I have very high hopes that you guys have kind of figured out what is working, what you want to do with your figures. I'm trying to set them up. Uh, and, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. My fingers are crossed. I like to stay positive. I like to wish the best. So hopefully, Hasbro, you guys are on a good beat with this one. And you'll be doing a good job with the new toys. Stay tuned because soon I'm going to be doing this other, just the other Death Trooper. I already see a difference, but I'm not going to show you because you got to come back and watch the other video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. You know I love you. I hope you like watching these Star Wars videos. If you do, be sure to leave a big thumbs up. If you are new to this video, this is the first one you've seen. Be sure to subscribe. I do Star Wars videos all the time. Also, some Disney artwork. I sprinkle the Disney in every once in a while. I sprinkle a vlog in every once in a while. Mostly Star Wars lately. But either way, I'd love to have you join the Daniel Channel family. So hit that subscribe button. And if you already are a part of the family, well, thank you. You guys are amazing. But be sure you hit the little bell notification thing. Because that's how it gives you a little alert and a message when I put out a new video. So you don't miss it. Guys, that's it for now. I'm going to let that wrap it up. As always, I'd like to end the videos by saying, may the Force have with you, and goodbye forever. <laughs>